Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. I know I've been offline for a few days. I was out west uh, visiting family for a few days. Uh, I have a lot in the pipeline that I want to talk about. I'm just getting back home and getting situated, uh, so bear with me. Uh, but what I want to talk about today, I mean, folks, you cannot make this stuff up. If you don't think we are living as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot, I mean, just look around you. But what I want to share with you today, one of the stories I want to talk about, um, this was sent to me by a lot of people. Actually, let me show it to you. This is actually a small clip of a scene uh, from a new show on Disney um, Disney Plus called uh, called the Santa Clauses, which is based off there was the movies with Tim Allen. Uh, I think there's like three different Santa Clauses, move, Santa Claus movies. Uh, this is a show that was just released on Disney Plus called the Santa Clauses, and this is a short clip from the third scene, um, third episode of season one. Check this out. There we go. That's my name. Oh, I love it. You can't make this stuff up, folks. I mean, a lot of people, you know, right after that scene, you could see them laughing. Uh, they, they put, we love you, Satan, and we hear laughter in the background. A lot of people are like, oh, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Uh, well, like you see on the clean, the screen here, this is clearly done on purpose, and it isn't a joke. It's a shout-out to their God. You know, it reminds me of exactly of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 3 to 4, where, where we read, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. You're not just seeing this on the Santa Clauses. Uh, this is all over our TV shows, our movies, our entertainment. This is what our kids are watching. I mean, you can't make this up. We love you, Satan. There's laughter in the background. And people think this is funny. Uh, folks, this is... Satan's agenda is to blind the minds of them which believe not. And it's happening. The reality is Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. What do you have to do to be saved? If you're watching this video and you're not saved right now, you need to put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. You need to believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and you need to do it now because the reality is that you're not gonna hear in the world Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much, like it records in Romans 5, 8. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus loves you, but the reality is, if you die without him, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell, and I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. Jesus is coming soon. The signs of his soon return are all around us. What you just saw, it's a short, uh, it's an example. Jesus said the last days would be like this. People are calling good evil, and people are calling evil good. If you try to stand up against this blasphemy, you are the one that is called evil. So I'm imploring you, I am begging you, while there is still time, right here and right now, again, put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe he died for you, he was buried, and he rose again. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. Jesus is coming soon. God bless you all.